Hey guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to save an array list of custom objects into shared preferences using Google's JSON library. For this I have prepared a simple recycler view. If you want to know how to build a recycler view, you can find a playlist on that in the info box in the top right corner of this video. Now when I type in some text in those edits fields here and click insert, I add a new item to this recycler view. I can add some more. Just gonna type in some random letters. Now the problem is when we close this app and reopen it, all our objects are gone because we didn't save them. And Android doesn't really provide a default way to save an array list of custom objects into shared preferences, but we are going to learn how to do that now. So here in our main activity I have an array list of example items. Example items is a class I prepared. And what we do first is we go to our build.cradle file, the one here with module in its name. Here we go all the way down and add the dependency for the JSON library. I will put a link to this dependency into the description box, so just copy it from there. Next we click sync now. Now let's prepare our main activity layout. So what we are going to do is we are gonna add a second button which then saves our list. So we create a button, wrap content width and height, text will be a save and ID will be a button underscore save and we put this button next to our insert button. Okay, back to our main activity Java file. In our onCreate method we assign this button, so we write button button save equals find you by id r.id.button save. Then we take this button save and call set onClick listener new onClick listener. And here in our onClick method we want to save our data, so we call a method save data. And we create this method below our onCreate method. So we write private void save data. And in here we will save our error list to shared preferences, which we do the following way. We create an instance of shared preferences with shared preferences, shared preferences equals get shared preferences. Then we have to pass a name in form of a string, which will simply be a shared preferences as well. And the second argument is the mode, which will be a mode underscore private. If you want to know more about this, you can watch my videos on shared preferences. Semicolon. Next we need our shared preferences editor. So we write editor, we call it editor equals shared preferences dot edit. And we need an instance of JSON with JSON JSON equals new JSON. Next we create a string JSON which will then contain our array list in JSON form. Equals JSON dot to JSON and then we pass our array list. In this case the name of our array list is mExampleList. Now we take our editor dot put string and add this JSON string to our shared preferences. So we give it a key task list and next we pass our json variable which we just created. In your app you should create constants for those strings. And lastly we call editor.apply. Now when we call this method here it will save our mExample list to shared preferences. And we also want to load it later so we create a method below private void load data. And this method will be pretty similar to our save data method. We need an instance of shared preferences here as well, so I'm going to copy this. We need JSON2, copy this as well. We don't need an editor, but we also need a string JSON here equals shared preferences dot get string. Then we pass our task list tag and the default value. The default value will be null in this case. So if we didn't save an array list yet, we won't get anything back. Semicolon. Next we write type type. Now we click on this and press Alt Enter. And add this one here, java.lang.reflect equals new type token. In these angle brackets we write array list. Then we make another pair of angle brackets. And in here we pass our example item, which is the class name of the object our array list contains. So you have to add your class here. Then we write a space, 
curly brackets and after those curly brackets we write dot get type semicolon and then we write mexampleList equals json dot from json very similar to our to json in safe data then we pass json and our type semicolon and now we load our example list with this method here out of shared preferences but since it can also be null if we didn't save anything yet we have to check here if mexampleList equals null then we want to create a new one of course so we write mexampleList equals new array list simple so we either load an array list or we create a new one from scratch okay and now we want to load this data as soon as we start our app so we go uh, to our onCreate method in here i originally created a new array list so i'm going to delete this and write instead load data so our app starts we call our load data method then we build our recycler view with this data then we can as usual change our data and when we click our save button we will save this and the next time we open our app we will load this data back in again okay let's test it okay so i'm going to type in some random letters here click insert now first let's try without clicking save so i close this app and reopen it and nothing let's create not a few items and this time i will click save close it again reopen it and as you can see our data is there if this was helpful please leave a like and if you want more android tutorials don't forget to subscribe take care